Hey guys, and welcome back to a new tutorial. Let's create today fan artwork for the new album by Charlie XCX. Grant. Not a fan? No problem. Change the stickers and the colors to create your own individual fan artwork. Today it's all about materials and lights. I show you how to create hyper, hyper realistic materials with bump maps. We also today create the most complex material ever. Transparent colored plastic. In the end, we create in Photoshop customized stickers to create your individual fan artwork. Let's go! The 3D, the 3D objects. objects. Find the code in the video and get free project files. Good luck, guys! Alright, let's start with the tutorial. So, first we start to model our whole cassette here. And for this we ha have to go here under the four view window and we need the front window. Now you can drag and drop an image and you also get this image from me on my Patreon under the HDRI and textures link. And now we can start to recreate it. So first we need a cube and you can already rename it to main body and now we rescale it. So how we need it. That looks good. Now we create this part here and for this we also need a cube. Bring it to the right position and rescale it. Perfect. When you're ready, go under the deformer and search for taper. Put it now under it and rename it also to second. It's the second body that we create for the whole cassette. Okay, go under the taper tag, under object, um, press fit to parent. Now it fits our cube. And now we can change the strength. In this case, we need minus nine. And as you can see, the edges are a little bit rounded. To fix it, we have the curvature value to put to 0%, and now we have rough sides. So now we need cylinders to fix these holes here, and they are on the main body. So only first this one, and then we will rename them. And for this, we need a cylinder, change the rotation to plus Z, Bring it to the right position and here on the radius you can rescale it. Alright, we name it also to main 1. So we know it depends to the main body, the big cassette shape. Okay, now you can copy and paste it and bring it to the other position. And go on, copy and paste it and rescale it for the corner cylinders. A radius of 15 is good. Alright, so we have now the cylinders on the edges. They don't have to fit perfectly because we will bevel also the sides later on. So there will be no not enough space. So put it more to the inside of the main body and put all under the main object or the main body. Alright, now we will create the holes for the second object. So you can copy and paste the cylinder here. It also fits in this case, but rename it to second one. Put it under it, copy and paste it, and bring it also here to this side. In the next step, we create the cubes here, and for this we need a cube. Also rescale it, bring it to the right position. 30 in X and Y is a good size. Rename it also to second cube. Put it here under it, and then you can duplicate it and bring it also here to the side. Alright, now we can change back to the front view, and we can look up what we did. And the cassette is way too thick, so go to the main body, coordinates, and rescale it here by 0.5, or maybe 0.3. Now take a second body, go also coordinate, and here we take 0.35. It has to be a little bit bigger than the main body. That looks perfect. All right, now we create round edges here. Select the main body, go to object, put a check mark under filet, and choose a radius of eight. And now we have round edges and repeat it also for the second body. Check mark under filet and radius eight. Now we get our perfect shape. 
All right, now we will create our holes. And for this, we need the Boolean tool. Or here, it's the bool tool. Take it, put it here to the main body. And now you can create holes. Here's our first hole. When we have two layers already together, you have the other one put under it as a child. And so you have to repeat it in this queue. And then you have the whole holes here inside of the body. And now we also copy and paste this one, bring it here to the down part and repeat it because we have to create in two objects the holes. So this is important that we create it here also in the main body. Okay, now we take again the bool tool and now we put the second under it and repeat it. And so we get our holes in the whole object. Perfect. That looks good. All right. When you're happy with the result, select both and go to connect objects. And we can hide it here as a backup if you want. But now we have everything as a single object. And now we have to go back to the front view and we need here our sticker hole. And for this, we need again a cube. Rescale it. And when you're ready, go back in this view. And now here is our cube. Now we need again a bool tool. Put our main object under it and the cube. And now you can go here until the hole appear like this. So now you can copy and paste the cube, bring it under it. And now you have to change the position to the other side like this. Perfect. And here we also want round edges. So take the cube, go under filet. And now you get better edges and also change it here to 8 and repeat it here also on the other side. Now it looks more realistic. Okay, now copy and paste the cube again. Rename it to sticker. It will be later on our sticker on the cassette. This one here. And now we have to rescale it again because we need a flat object. And you can also change it here to 1 and bring it to the right position like this and make it a little bit smaller with these values here. All right, these are my values. So now you can take it, copy and paste it and bring it also to the other side like this. Perfect. So, but we don't need it for now. Make it invisible because it get confusing when you don't see the holes here for the project. So now we take the bool tool here that we created and we also make connect object. You can also make it invisible as a backup and rename it to cassette. Perfect. So now we edit it a little bit. And for this, we have to select it and we need to go to the lines displaying and we need the area selection here. So take now the move tool. Select this part here and bring it to the down. And now here this part appear and we can use it later on as our tape on the side. So select it. Now you can rescale it because it's too long. You only need this part like this. Select it, press with the right mouse button on it and choose split. Now we have only this body here. Rename it to tape. Go now back here to the model mode and we change the view again back to the main shading. Okay, so now you have to save your file because it could be that your computer will crash because we will now remesh everything. So we need the cassette and now we need a volume builder and a volume mesher. Put it under it and the cassette also. And here go now under the volume builder, change the voxel size to one. And now we get everywhere really cool smooth edges, but we also need the SDF smooth. And now we have our perfect cassette shape. And I would say we change the strength to 50 under the SDF smooth because we don't need it so strong. This is a really good result. And when you are happy, um, press connect object plus delete. Rename it again to main body. And now we have a good shape. So in the next step, we will create the screws here. And for this, we can use our cylinders that we already created. Take one, copy and paste it like this. Now you have to rescale it from the height, something like this. 
And we also go here in the cups and make a fillet out of it so it get also round edges. So now we need a cube. We scale it and bring it here on the top. These are my scale values and you can also make a fillet out of it. Now we need again the bool tool, put the cube and the object under it but in the right order. But yeah, I think the fillet don't look good here on the cube. I think the rough edges are better. So now you can copy and paste the cube and bring it also under it and bring it here to this side so that we get our screw. Perfect. So when you're happy with the result, connect the object and delete it. Rename it to screw. Create the null object, put it under it because we will create now a lot of screws because we have to copy and paste it for the other holes. Right, I copy and paste it and the origin is somewhere where we don't want it. So delete the copy and paste it version, select the screw and go now under tools, axis and axis center, press execute and now you have the cross here perfectly centered on the screw. Now you can copy and paste it and you can now easily move it to the other points. All right, when you're ready, take the rotation tool and rotate them a little bit so it looks more realistic because the screws are never shown in the same direction. All right, in the next step, we will create the rings here inside. And for this, we need a tube. Change here the rotation to plus X, bring it here to this position and rescale it with the inner and outer radius. Oh, it have to be also a little bit inside, so you can see how the values work. Right, I think this is a good size here, and we need rotation segments 14. And we have also to watch on the side, because it's way too long. Perfect. When you are happy with the result, press on the tube and make a current state object of, out of it. Now you get the copy, make the copy invisible. And now we need the area here. And we need the line displaying. Now we go under select. Oh, and first we have to select our tube, of course. Now go to select and we need the loop selection. Hold shift and select every second part here, like this. Oh, and now we need the extrude tool here on the side and bring it here inside. And yeah, that's it. Perfect. Go here again back to the model mode and display it no normal. And now rename it to ring. And now you can copy and paste it and bring it also to the other side. All right, in the end, we will create our tape here inside. And for this, we have to go to display and lines. So we can see something, but it's not a lot, guys. I'm sorry. But here we need again a tube. Rotate it again to plus C. Bring it here to the side. And we go back to the four view windows and back to front. So now we can see what here, what we are doing here. So we scale the radius that it fits. One have to be bigger than the other. So that looks like a good size and increase the segments, but we need the rotations one. Perfect. So now you can copy and paste it, bring it here to the side and rescale it with the values here. Yeah, maybe in a radius 43 is better. And now you have two different sizes. Rename it to tape ring and bring it here also to the other tape materials. All right, now go back in this view change the displaying to the main view and as you can see they are way too thick but we can change it but we know now we have to use the scale value here something until it appear so 0 0.35 looks good and repeat it here also for the second one perfect all right in the end we will insert the camera but first we change our render region to 100 1080 by 1350 pixels. This is like the Instagram format. And now we add a camera and choose a perspective of your choice. So you can use the coordinates here, also here the rotation, and in the end, I rotate it here also by 275, like this. And in the end, we insert a plane as a background. So press plus Z. Now you can rescale it. Go out of the camera, pressing this button here. 
and bring it to the back so that it's really in the background. Oh, perfect. All right, and today we go now to the material part. Do you want the whole project file? You can have it. <gasps> With over 70 other files that we have already created together, guys. You can find them on my Patreon, the link is in the caption. The materials. The materials. materials. Now you can download all HDRI maps and textures for the material part. Go, go, go. Download it. And let's move on with the tutorial. So open here the material manager and also the render view. So, and now we need first the HDRI map and to insert it, we have to go here and we need a dome light. Press add graph and now the folder icon and now you can insert the HDRI map and the name of the HDRI map is studio. Now we go here, we change the intensity to 2 and under coordinates, you can play with the values and the rotations. And for me, minus 90 is the best value. But as I said, play around, you get your different results. Okay, now we create our first material. Double click. And this is the background material. Drag and drop it on the background. Now open it. And here we change the color to black and metalness to one. And we also increase the roughness until it's black. Perfect. Now we create the ring material. Double click, rename it to ring. And now you can drag and drop it here on the layers. Open it and here we have to delete this one. Go now here, choose a new material, connect it and take here under preset plastic. And here we change the color to white. That's it. Become a member on YouTube and get access to the member-only videos. And to all missing textures to finish this project. There you also get access to the secret color adjustment videos. Get this mesmerizing result only in a few minutes and free softwares. Become a pro now and bring your animations to the next level. Link is in the caption. Three reasons why you should follow me on my social media channels. One. There you can get exclusive shoutouts if you tag me at Art Invader. Two. There you can vote for upcoming projects. Three. Exclusive quick tips to get a pro in 3D. Thank you for your support, guys. And that's it. Well done, Art Invaders. If you like the video, please leave a like, follow or comment. And we see us in the next week.